Hey everybody, Don Georgievich here with Job Interview Tools. Today I want to talk to you about using LinkedIn to get job interviews. So I recently had a client write in and she said, Hey Don, I've got a job interview coming up and I want to know if it's okay to send the recruiter a LinkedIn invitation before my interview. And well, if you want to know what I told her, go ahead, hit the like button on this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and we'll dive right in. So anyway, Gabriella, she writes in, she says like, Don, I've got an interview coming up and is it okay if I send out a LinkedIn invitation to the manager before our interview? And my answer to that was, yeah, why not? But if you do that, don't use the standard greeting because when you, when you go to send an invite through LinkedIn, they just have a standard greeting that says, hi, you know, this is Don. I'd like you to join my LinkedIn network. You know, it's really dull and boring. You want to use a uh, warmer introduction, something like, you know, hey, this is Don. I'm really looking forward to our interview next week for the marketing manager position. And I'd like to ask you to join my LinkedIn network. You know, something like that. Don't use exactly what I said, but do something that, that suits you, that fits you and fits your personality. And what this is going to do, it's going to just make some initial contact with the interviewer and, you know, kind of letting them know that you're, you know, you're LinkedIn savvy out there. You've got a profile and maybe, maybe you have some stuff on your profile that isn't quite on your resume. And because you know, your resume only gives you so many options to say certain things a certain way, but with your LinkedIn profile, you have a lot more flexibility of how you can present yourself. So sending a LinkedIn invitation to the hiring manager and even in that invitation, drawing attention to a certain part of your LinkedIn profile might help. You might say, Hey, you know, I've got some really unique marketing experience under, you know, ABC company. And, you know, here's a, uh, my LinkedIn profile, take a look at that, you know, and let me know what you think, something like that. But it gives you that extra opportunity to, you know, give yourself that extra edge, you know, above everybody else. Cause I can tell you right now, most people, most job candidates are not sending out those LinkedIn invitations to their hiring managers. Now, of course, you know, you are because you're watching this video right now, but all the other people who aren't so fortunate to watch this video and get this special inside tip, they're not going to do that. And that's going to put you at an advantage over them because it's giving you that opportunity to make that one extra connection with the hiring manager. That way, before you even go to the interview, you've already exchanged LinkedIn information, you know, maybe you've looked at his or her profile and then he's looked at yours and, and maybe, maybe you even start a little bit of dialogue going back and forth and, you know, you get some pre interview questions answered and addressed and you make that extra special connection. And that way, when you go to the actual interview, you feel like, you know, the person because you've already chatted a little bit through email and LinkedIn messenger. And now you've kind of, you've kind of warmed up your relationship a little bit and it's taken it a step farther, that little bit farther than everybody else. And that's what you need when you're interviewing for jobs. You got to remember, you know, there's, there's a hundred other people that want the job that you're applying to. And of those hundred people that applied for that job, maybe, only 10 or 15 are going to get the call for the interview, maybe, but still 15 to 20 people, you know, to one. So you need to set yourself apart. You need to stand out. You need to make yourself look a little bit different than everybody else. Otherwise, if you don't, you're just going to blend in. You're going to look like everybody else and they're not going to know. They're not going to know you from anybody else. So that's just one little idea. And, since Gabriella sent this in to me, I actually had another idea about how to use LinkedIn to help you get interviews. Because I mean, think about this, all the jobs that are out there. I mean, you've probably heard this before, all the jobs out there, they're not posted online. The, the, the jobs that are posted online are just a tiny fraction of all the jobs that are available. But how do you find out about all these jobs that are available if they're not posted anywhere? That is a trick, quite a trick indeed. One of the ways to find those jobs is through networking. So maybe you know somebody, 
you know somebody who works at Google or Facebook or Amazon or you know wherever wherever it is and they're like hey you know hey Don uh, you know we've got an opening over here we're not going to post it yet but uh, you know why don't you uh, you know reach out to the hiring manager you know so that's that's one way to do is through networking but let's say let's say you like me and well everybody else out there who doesn't have that big network of people where they can just you know call a few friends and get a job I mean I wish I had that kind of network but I don't and it's valuable building all those relationships throughout your lifetime and all these connections really help really pay off in the end and allow you to you know navigate your career and employers with great ease so let's just say let's say you don't have a big network like most people don't what can you do to use LinkedIn and networking to get those opportunities well I'll tell you I got a great idea for you you know how I told you that uh, you can reach out to hiring managers through LinkedIn Messenger and request an invitation. Well, let's say there's a certain place that you want to work at, all right? And let's just say, I'm just, just going to say Google, you know, even though that's like the biggest place on the planet, I'm just going to say Google. And you can apply this methodology to really any type of company. So let's say you're interested in working in, you know, the uh, R&D, Research and Development Department in Google. So how do you get a job in there? How do you get in there? How do you find out what's available if nothing's posted online? Well, let's just say you use LinkedIn and you go out and you find human resources managers that work at Google or hiring managers that work at Google or managers that work in R&D. Let's just say you go find the manager of R&D at Google. I bet I could do that right now. If I had LinkedIn up, I could go find a research and development manager at Google or Amazon or Microsoft or anywhere else. Find that person. And then reach out to them through LinkedIn and say, hello, Mr. Uh, R&D manager. You know, use their name. But um, you know, say, hey, hey, um, I noticed you work in R&D at Google and I'm really interested in a position over there and I wondered if you guys have anything that's open. Um, I have a really unique background in research and development or I just graduated from Stanford with a degree in engineering, you know, whatever it is. Start that conversation through the LinkedIn Messenger while you're requesting um, that they connect to your network or they join your network. Does that make sense? I mean, just think about it. Think about this for a second. You reach out to a R&D manager at Google, say, Ch -ch 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 -ch, I'm interested in working there, and what kind of positions do you have? Now, you got to remember, this person, they're just a manager there. They're not in human resources. They're not a gatekeeper. They're not screening anybody. It's just wide open. And they might say, you know what, Don, um, we don't have anything right now. But I happen to know that in our other office, over in San Francisco, actually they're in San Francisco, but you know, they're on their office in Cleveland, Ohio. They actually have some openings in that area. Let me forward your contact information over to the manager in that area. Bada bing, you just nailed it. Or they might come back and say, you know what? Um, we don't have any openings right now, but we, we're going to in a couple of months. Can you send me over your resume in the meantime? Only good things can happen. And when you're doing it this way, you're leaving out all the job boards and you're going direct to the source. Now it's different. It's, it's, you know, it takes a little bit more skill to navigate that area if you're not used to it. I mean, if you're just kind of the person who always reads the job boards and then, you know, and posts and read the job boards and post, post and pray, I think is what they call it <laughs> because you're, uh, you're sending in your information and usually you just never hear back, but cut all that stuff out. Use LinkedIn direct. And I mean, you don't have to pay for this. I mean, this is free. LinkedIn is a free tool. And all you got to do is just go find the place that you want to work, go look up the managers that work there, and then reach out to them directly with a kind, warm, heartfelt LinkedIn invitation, and then start a conversation. It's that easy. It doesn't get any easier than that. Were you looking for something hard? Well, it's not. So, that's all I got for you today. Oh, hey, while you're here, you know what? I, I, I got a free gift for you too. I actually have a special guide I created about LinkedIn and how to create a strong LinkedIn profile. And I think it's called 17 Minutes to LinkedIn Success. And you can get that for free.
from jobinterviewtools.com slash LinkedIn, and I will put a link for that below this video. Go there, put in your email address, tell me where to send it, and we'll send you a free copy. Compliments of me. And while you're here, I got another free gift for you too. Um, I, love, I love giving this away because when you get those interviews, when you start using LinkedIn to get those interviews, you're going to need help answering the questions. And this top 10 guide here, this is free. Absolutely free. You didn't know you're going to get all this free stuff coming here today, just watching this little video. But anyway, you can download this for free, jobinterviewtools.com slash top 10. This is going to tell you how to answer some of the most common interview questions. And one of the questions you're going to need to know how to answer is why do you want to work here? So if you are searching out the research and development manager at Google, why the heck do you want to work at Google? Why do you want to work there? You obviously don't want to work there just because you want a job. There's something more, something more about Google that's attracting you or Facebook or Amazon or Microsoft or, you know, those are just three of the companies in the United States. There's 10,000 others. So why do you want to work at that company? You're going to want to, you're going to want to have a good answer for it. It's not just because you need a job or you need the money. And maybe that's the truth, but you need a bigger reason because there's 50 other people that want to work there too, that have bigger reasons than I just need a job. So this little guy here, top 10 questions, gonna teach you how to answer. Why do you want to work here? It's also going to teach me, teach how to answer. Tell me about yourself and your greatest weaknesses and strengths. It's going to cover all of those. This is a great little guide. Get it from jobinterviewtools.com slash top 10. It is absolutely free. That is all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, um, I would appreciate it if you give it a like, subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye now.